Well, everybody, Boy Cup's back, and he went and screwed something up, so you can go head home, buddy. Take that little harness off you got and get on your f***ing way, because I got to redo everything. Welcome back, Boy Cub. Screw my life up. So I probably confused him. Really, he did a nice job on it. He did a great job, but I think it's done backwards. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it and decided to make a video. So what he did was he put a, you know, shingles down. I mean, look, rake looks real nice, everything. He dropped these down nice and low. This had plenty of coverage so that we could have snapped our line and had our had our thing come down right here. Okay. Now the problem is this is where valleys get tricky, <clears throat> right? We got this big roof over here and all this volume's coming down into this. All right. So the main volume's coming off of here. So you so you would want that water to usually peel off. Okay, but there's a pitch change here. What's going to happen is that water, it's going to come up here. It's going to roll down and it's going to try to hit here. All right. And then this is a 412 and this is a 612. So even when there's snow build up, it's going to try and push its way under here, which is going to cause problems, especially in here. And he put this shingle on right here so that he could have just a little extra protection. And then this was going to run, start running them like this. Okay, to our cut lines, but sorry if that's confusing, but you know, this valley's definitely done backwards because you know, even though there's barely any volume that comes off that, the water is going to come to rest in that valley and it's going to be a lot easier for it to move this way on the 412 than it is that way. So, let me show you guys how they did theirs over here. So, you see, they did their valley like I did my other side over there. I'll show that to you in a second, but this is the way it should look, right? Because this water. When it comes, it's not going to hit this and try to run up very high. This is a six. It's going to hit this and it's going to come back down. And it's going to try to walk on this 412 like I said it would, okay? So this is the correct way to do it. So I did this sweet little reversal on mine. This, <laughs> this skylight's crooked as hell, but anyway, I ran it, you know, the correct way. Because this is an equal pitch and everything. But you see I ran this shingle under one more time because they got the skylight so close. Almost like a reverse valley, but then I continued it off the same way. Anyway, we're going to do bottom side first this time. And get it done right. Oh, I'm sorry, were you waiting for me to continue? Not until you like and subscribe. And I thought I told your ass already. So get it done. And by the way, I'm not trying to make Boy Cub look bad. I asked him if I could talk some smack before I even started filming, so no, nothing personal. Really, he did a great job. And I put him on this because I knew he didn't want to do it, and I wanted him to have this experience. So um, overall, he did a great job. I mean, you can see there's no nails anywhere near the valley. I mean, not within you know you're not supposed to do it within like six six or seven inches i think that's his closest nail and that's plenty far um and then look at this little trick he did i didn't even teach him that but the starter come came down to here and it was just flapping loose i'm sure so he had to cut that back you know because there's no way to put a nail there you don't want to put a nail close to the valley and it was kind of sticking out so that's a that's a sweet little thing he did there and then obviously these shingles were really straight so everything that he did he did it really nice. I, you know, I got some good basics in the kid. Yeah, you did a great job, Boy Cup. But uh, I just, like I said, I'd prefer it the other way. And I did want to make a video on this valley anyhow. So here we are. Let's get to it. Another thing I wanted to mention, I made sure I hammered all these nails down. That way they kind of seal a little bit. I didn't want to pull them and have holes, you know. Also, you guys would have ate me up if I didn't do that. So, okay, bye. All right, so let's get started. I did a little practice run right here. You know, it's good to do this just to double check that you're doing it the right way and uh, you're going to be able to figure out where to nail and everything because the last thing you want in an area like this that's going to hold a lot of snow is putting a seam somewhere where there's a nail right there. You know what I mean? That's just bad news, okay? Not something that's guaranteed to leak, but it's preventative, so let's do it, you know? All right, here you go. Square this up 
push super hard in your valley either. Best thing you can do is just go square with the starter. Not so much important on this one, but on the ones uh, after we run out this entire bottom, that's going to be real important. It's the best chance you have at staying square. I'll be filming my butt crack now. All right, so what I'm going to do here. Just because there's a lot of snow here, I'm gonna drop this reveal quite a bit, okay? See how I'm only doing about half in here, if that even, okay? And before I move on, I ran these shingles here because we're gonna have to snap a line on this side now. And we need to be able to make sure that we're gonna cover that. All right? It's kind of like the weave. Do this for a second, double check where my seams are going to go, see if I'm going to put one in the center here. I, just can't, I can't do another one, there's not enough head wrap in there, like this one barely cuts it. So I'm going to be putting one here, means you put a, I probably won't even nail this one, let's just, these things are super safe and I'm, and I'm going to burn the reveal a little bit on this one as well. So. You can cut these too if you don't want a whole lot in your valley. Not that we have to use it anywhere, but some people think it gets both of you in there. I'm gonna square that one up. Around. Looks like that might be a little crooked, so just make sure it's not. Right. I'm gonna grab the second one and I can put it right here, which means I can put a nail here. Get the double check stuff. All right. And now, since I'm right handed, we're going to start this stair step. All right. At least for a while while we're in the beginning here, I'm going to run out both of these. I'm going to want to run out both of these sides so that I don't end up screwing something up. See, because look, if I put this one here, I had to make sure that there's enough headlap space, okay? You don't want to have too much less than that. And at some point, we're going to have to do that back step. I didn't get to show that last time I did a valley, so that's kind of exciting. Shouldn't have put that nail there. That was stupid. It's all right. I'll just have to get away with one more going up this way. It's not a big hey, uh, Yes, sir. We play a lot of Mortal Kombat. We never do. 
I did. You know that guy who pops up and says, Yeah. Should I throw him, <laughs> should, should I throw him in when I put that nail there? Oh, I shouldn't have put that nail there. Pusty. That was good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. See, now that's close to the valley. That's what I was... Well, either way, I was going to get screwed anyway. So... Gotta be careful for these nails. Yeah, see, I don't want a, uh, I don't want to shingle that close to my valley. So, uh, I can cut this here as well. I'm just gonna run this as normal and I'll deal with that later now. When we drop back, it's probably a good practice to give as much as you can so that we can uh, be aware of that back step. It's not gonna hit us as soon as we do it like this. I always run out about four before things get a little, a little too interesting. Let's see what I'm gonna have to do here. This can go. This can go on. I'm land seam on seam almost. Ooh, that might work. I think that's close enough out of the valley. Barely. See, I could put it here and that won't screw anything up. So, I'm just gonna do it this way. I think it's a little better. Now we gotta watch our nail placement. On this one, we'll have a shingle nail about, land about right there, so we'll skip. That's that's borderline. I'm not gonna cut it, but it'll be all right. What I did here is I'm buttoning this square, I'm not paying attention to the reveal, and that's going to ensure that I'm running this straight. Right. Yeah, bundle already.
I think I whoopsied again. <laughs> I did. Just right there though. So, I'll show you guys this. Rather than pulling this shingle up, because there's a nail, it's actually like an inch away. I don't know, if you can get a close up on that. It's actually like an inch away. Rather than pulling that whole thing up, I do this little trick once in a while when I screw up. What I'll do is I'll just seal over that with a piece of ice shield. Okay, you wanna make sure the ice shield goes up past the reveal, okay? You can shoot it if you want. Sometimes I'll smash it down. Now she's good, going like a shower. And if you notice my nailing patterns, one, one, two, three, one. I leave space for that drop back, you know, regularly. That one was a little different because it was a shorty. Um, Now one other thing I want to check is how this lands here. Because I'm going to continue off my run here rather than theirs because truthfully who cares about theirs. They screwed me around so skip it. Butt that nice and square. We're going to attack that. Watch your feet. Run this over, and we're gonna make sure that we're running into a square. Oh, did it hurt anybody? No, I'm just then gonna have to go into the neighbor's yard later. Then, it, then it's fine, right? Okay. Yeah. All right. I want to see how square we're running, so we're gonna double check this because we started off a really small thing. Wow, that looks really good, don't it? That looks really good. Perfect. So, the only other thing I'd like to check, now that we've checked for square, we wanna check that we're running nice and good, because we may have to snap lines if there's any like heavy cheating that we need to do. All right, and I'm doing this ahead of time because I don't wanna cheat one row and have a shorty in there. All right, we wanna cheat several rows if we've gotta cheat at all. Okay, which we're going to have to. So, you look at this. We ran this much short. Are you? Do you have a good angle on that? Go stand over here or something. All right. So, rather than doing it like this, going laying this all the way up there and going, going. Oh no, this is gonna look like crap. What I can do is snap a bunch rather than going. So let's just drop that one down a little and that one down a little, you know? Rather, rather than having it like that, that's two big cheater rows, I'd rather cheat this one, this one, this one, and that one. You know what I mean? Maybe even this one. So I'll put one more row on across. That looks good. And then I'm going to cheat them all just a few centimeters each. Hey. Yes, sir. Uh, huh? Uh, can you cut, uh, can I just come up here in a second? Yeah. I'm going to snap a line along my rake so I don't fuck up. Along your rake? Yeah, because it's, uh, it's all fuzzy, dude. I don't want to... I just want a line to go off of. Well, you did more than five, didn't you? Oh, well, yeah, but that's not bad. Uh, yeah, it is. If you had done five, you'd have been yeah, all right. I, is that... Can we do that? Yeah. Whatever you want to do. Right. Here, you want me to pause this? No, let me put this shingle on and we're good. Okay.
Well, this can be added. No, this don't need to be added. <laughs> Well, yeah, if you cut the first one to length, like I told you, you'd know exactly where the starter is. You don't want to do it, do you? Just whatever you want to do, bud. <laughs> okay, snap. You sure that's where it's at? Damn, super pool on a four-footer? God, I didn't have a grip like that. Oh. <laughs> that's fine, though. See, all you had to do was put... If you'd cut your bottom one to length, you would be able to have the starter exposed... Then you could have put your whole shingle up and just cut from the top like you're going to have to do. Since you're right-handed, you're going to have to start here, to like take this. that off. Start that one, take that off. Yeah. That one, take that off. Feel me? Yeah. Do you understand me? Yeah. No, yeah, I get it. Yeah, you better understand. I'll pick it up, man. I'm not the one, son. <laughs> All right, so what I've done here, excuse the several marks. This side is just easier to see because of the shadow. I'm going to the top line every time. All I'm doing is I'm burning about three quarters of an inch. All right, then I'm gonna put it on that line again. It's about another three quarters of an inch. Then on this line again, up there, the crow's foot, and about another three quarters of an inch. Then we're gonna get a fool on there, just regular. And then this one will go up and it'll be just right, okay? And the reason I got these two last ones going on square is because that'll be any of this cheat would be hidden if someone's looking at it from either side of this roof. Not that it matters, but, and they're minimal cheats, so you'll never notice it. All right, you're gonna have, you're gonna have to snap. You undo. Go ahead. Oh, where's the ball now? Right? Up. I put it up on the bundles. Go ahead again. Oh, wait, the hose. Go ahead again. Fuck. Yeah. Okay, and let's go up one more. Probably you're going to the top line every time. Send it. All right, we're good. That wasn't a palm nailer, was it? Yeah, it was. Oh, God. You want me to run down and go get it for him? No, boy comes on his own, brother. Oh, shit. Get to working, son. You're a mess up there. Sure. Embarrassing me on the camera. Oh! God! <laughs> what was that? Oh. What'd you do? Pinched myself. Hell yeah. You get what you deserve. Hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, Hell yeah. Thumbs up. <laughs> Got him stuck. Oh. Oh. Not broken. Go. I'm bleeding with the Jay accidentally cut yourself. I would have said if I knew how to how I did it, bud. Hey, that's fair. Oh, 
Wake up. Why are you talking on my backswing? People like it. Oh, did I do that little spicy? At least it was through the double side. Oh, God. Dude. Are you all right up there? Are you okay? This thing doesn't look normal. What doesn't look normal? It's all right, leave him be. Okay. Oh, we'll figure it out. He'll figure it out, or I'll just tear off more shingles of his, it's whatever. What? <laughs> all right, let's see how that transition went. <laughs> 